how to get a stretched resolution in Fortnite Chapter 6 that will not only boost your FPS, but will also give you bigger looking player models to improve your aim. Right now, these on screen are the most popular resolutions that I recommend trying out, but most notably, we've got 1720 by 1080 used by Peter Bart, which he is actually considering using again this chapter. We've also got 1680 by 1050 and 1550 by 1080, both made popular by Martos, who's an absolute beast on them and finally we've got 800 by 600 which i really ended up loving last season i played it a lot and it gave me a bunch of fps i would love to know though what stretch dress you're using in the comment section below as i know there's a ton out there now to actually set up a stretch resolution there is three different methods method one is essential and doesn't require nvidia or amd method two is additional and it does require nvidia or amd but it will give you lower delay as well as fixed potential issues like black bar then method 3 is optional it's a separate method but it gives almost zero delay it's just a bit of a faff on the setup starting off with method 1 on the desktop you want to press the windows key and r inside here paste in the percentage sign local update and then the percentage sign again then press f and find the fortnite game go into saved config windows client then you'll find your config file that's a game user settings file now before you go ahead and modify this right click on it go into show more options then properties and then ensure that the read only box has been unchecked right now after that you can go ahead and open it up once inside here if you scroll down to near the bottom you should find two resolution sections right here you want to go ahead and customize both of these to have matching x and y values of your desired stretch resolution you can see i've already done it here with the first one and then here with the second one after you've done that you can click file and then save and if you go back to your game user settings you can go ahead and right click on it show more options go into properties and make sure to actually select the read only this time as this prevents fortnite from changing the settings back to default or native when you do open the game this essentially locks it in when you do click apply now this will work you will get the stretched resolution but if you do want lower input delay or a more stable experience like without any glitches or black bars you need to do method 2 which i'll showcase right now on your desktop right click on it and go into show more options and select the nvidia control panel if you're on amd by the way the steps are very similar once open and if you go over to the left hand side under change resolution inside here make sure your main gaming monitor is selected make sure you've got the highest refresh rate and then under where it says customize click that button then if you go down at the bottom make sure this is ticked right here and then click create custom resolution and then inside here is where you can actually make your custom resolution and then once you've went through that entire process here is where you can actually select the resolution in itself now if you do click apply it will obviously change the resolution of your entire monitor or rather pc and you might get a black screen which from there you can either play like this or simply revert back to native so your pc isn't in stretched res once you've done that though head over to a just desktop size and position and inside here to prevent any issues like black bars select your main game and monitor make sure a full screen is selected i think by default it's on either aspect ratio or no scaling make sure a full screen is selected after that make sure the gpu is selected as we are gpu scaling you'll use display for the other method that i was on about earlier but for this one make sure gpu is selected and override the scaling mode set by games and programs it's important you select this too then finally you can go back in the resolution page and select your stretched resolution and now if you open up the game you now have a stretched resolution moving on finally we've got method number three display scaling to begin with you want to find your config or game user settings file you want to right click on it and then enter the properties and inside here make sure the read only box is unchecked then click apply and okay after you open up your config you want to scroll down to the resolution sections there'll be the first section right here and then the second section right here you want to ensure that both of these have your native resolution in them and not a stretched res so either 1920 by 1080 or whatever your native resolution is ensure that's the case for both of them after that you want to enter your nvidia control panel firstly under change resolution then select your main game and monitor and inside this resolution box right here scroll down to find your native resolution then click on the customize button then inside here simply remove any stressed resolutions that you've got going on so i'm going to go ahead and delete this one right here once you've done that you want to uncheck enable resolutions not exposed by the
private display, uncheck that and then press OK. And then you should be left with your native resolution. From there, you can go to adjust desktop size and position. Then inside here, ensure that your main gaming monitor is selected. Then make sure you're using full screen. And finally, under perform scaling on, you want to change this from the GPU to display as we're going to be display scaling. Then finally click apply. Next, you want to Google custom resolution utility. Then the first link should be from monitortests.com. And then inside you will see the download links. I like to download the first one. And after you have unzipped it, you'll see there's an application that you can open. Once you've opened the application, you want to head to the top drop down and make sure your main monitor is selected. It should be in brackets active. After that, you want to go to the left hand side and go down to where it says none. Click that button and it'll deselect all of these, which is what we want. From there, you can go under extension blocks, click on the first one here, then click edit. Then under detailed resolutions, you want to find the one with the highest refresh rate. Mine is the bottom one right here and then double click on it. Then inside here, you want to click on that copy button right there. You can then close this down and from there, you can then actually delete all of these and then press OK. Once you've done that, under the standard resolutions, you may have a ton of random resolutions in here. Some of you may not and that's absolutely fine. But if like myself, you do, you want to go ahead and delete all of those. And from there at the top as well, there might be the same sort of thing in my case i've only got one you want to go ahead and delete all of these in the detailed resolution box which will give you a clear top box and then a clear middle box from there though under the standard resolution to middle box you want to click on add and then inside the resolution drop down you want to go ahead and add 1920 by 1080 or your native resolution then press ok and from there under detailed resolutions you want to click on add and inside here is where we're going to put our custom resolution but first it's really important that you paste what we copied earlier so just click paste firstly then we can go ahead and add our custom resolution and i myself i'm going to use 1680 by 1080 so i don't need to change the vertical once you've done that and everything is looking good, you then can press OK. And as you can see, we've got our custom resolution, we've got our standard resolution, and then we've got the extension block. Now, some people like to delete everything in the extension block, but I like to leave it just as is. And from there, we can literally just press OK. After doing that, a lot of people like to restart their PC via the application itself, via clicking one of these, or via literally just restarting in Windows. But I want to warn you guys, after you restart, if there's any sort of issues, you should refer to this guide that I'll have in the description of this video that can help you if you get any sort of black screen issues or anything like that. In addition, though, I'll also show you how to revert all of this at the end, which can also help you. And after you have restarted your computer, you may know that you're in 60 hertz now don't panic that's fine because what we want to do is right click on our desktop we want to go into our display settings then scroll down to where it says advanced display then at the top make sure your main gaming monitor is selected and then you should see two different modes here your desktop mode and your active signal mode now from here guys you want to click on your display adapter properties then in here click on list all modes and if you scroll down to the very bottom you should see your brand new resolution which mine like I customized earlier in the CRU is 1680 by 1080 just select that then press apply your screen may go black don't panic but once we are back you can see that we now have the lowest latency stretched resolution possible as both of these are matching which they don't do if you use the gpu scaling method which is completely fine but this is why this method has the lowest latency possible. By the way, guys, if you do want to return back to a native resolution, for method one and two, you need to go back into your config and revert that back to your native res. Also, don't forget to uncheck the read-only box, as remember, that does lock your settings, so unchecking it will unlock those settings. In NVIDIA or AMD, you should go back to your native res as well. For those that did the display scaling method, you want to go into your display settings and go back to native. Also, go into the CR you folder and reset all the values then finally in the nvidia control panel under adjust desktop size make sure a full screen is selected and you can go back to gpu scaling if you'd like also don't forget to click that box and that's how you set up a stretched resolution in chapter 6 if it did help out please drop a like subscribe for more and don't forget to check out my other videos before you do go